guys welcome back to my channel once again you're watching um and on tour beauty so in today's video I wanted to film a Indian look for you guys I just feel like it's been a hot minute since I did something Indian so I wanted to get a lovely look out for you guys and I wanted something different I know I've gone for very greens purples and I've always gone for just shadow so today I wanted to infuse in some glitter and a look which I haven't done so I went for this beautiful turquoise look I absolutely love kind of the light blue turquoises and I actually got this new outfit whilst I was out in India a couple of months ago so I thought why not sit down and film this look for you guys and if you're not aware around the December January February times around this whole time it's actually a wedding season in India so I know I have a lot of followers from India as well so I wanted to do a Indian get ready with me a wedding look for you guys so that you guys can um, use this look or get some inspiration from this look for a wedding or anything that you are going to or just if you want to do some glittery eyes and you guys want to know how I created this I have done this look for you all but hopefully you guys are enjoying what you guys are seeing and if so then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well also if you guys aren't following me on my social medias then do not forget to follow me on my snapchat and my instagram i will link both of them down below so you guys can follow but that is all guys and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if so then carry on into the video to see how i created this okay guys so firstly i'm just going to moisturize my face and i'm using the l'oreal aloe water and i'm using this for dry skin in the winter my skin is very dry so i always need a very good moisturizer to keep my face looking well and then i'm just going to use some carmex and i'm also going to apply this onto my lips my lips are pretty chapped and dry in the winter so i always like to keep my face and lips moisturized and then I go in with this um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids just to prep them for the eyeshadow. And I've already done my eyebrows off camera just because I didn't really want to go thoroughly into them. But if you guys want to see a detailed video on how I did my brows, then I'll leave it down below in the description box. But I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to blend out all of that concealer. And then this also cleans up my eyebrows as well. So just using a brush, I'm just going to push that all into my skin. And then I go in with the colour Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to apply this into the crease of my eye. And I'm not setting any of the concealer on my eyelid just because I feel like the eyeshadows will stick quite well with the concealer on. So I'm just applying this into the creases. And then I'm using this palette here by Makeup Revolution and I'm going to take the lightest blue from this palette first and apply that into the crease. And I do go in with a small pointy brush and then I do blend this out and I go back and forth with the colour until I feel like I have got the perfect colour on the crease. And then I'm going to take the darker blue and I'm going to apply this with a really flat liner brush so I can really specifically get into my crease. I don't want to have it rubbed all over above and below the crease so I really just want to get right into the crease. Hence I'm using this very detailed liner brush. But I go in and then I also blend this out as well so that it blends in quite well and doesn't look too harsh. But again, I do go back and forth with this colour until I feel like I have got the right amount on my eye and I feel like I have got the right colour which I am looking for. So here you guys can see I go back in and really build up that beautiful turquoisey blue. And then I do go out and blend this out again just to make sure that the both of the blues are blended in quite well and it just doesn't look like I've got one colour on my crease. And then I'm going in with this glitter from NYX and the glitter glue also from NYX. And I'm going to apply some of the glue onto my lid and then I'm going to apply some of the glitter. I will leave all the details down below on the exact name of the glitter down below in the description box. So I'm just applying this with a small flat brush and I go back and forth with the glue until I have got the right amount on the lid. And then I'm taking the colour Dagger from the Smoky Palette by Urban Decay and I'm just going to apply 
apply a little bit into the crease and then I'm going to blend this out. I just felt like I really need to make the crease look a little bit more darker and a little bit more blue, hence why I went in with the colour dagger. And then applying the NYX liquid liner, I'm just creating a lovely wing. You can always get away with not having a wing as well, but I just wanted to have a wing. I absolutely love having a wing liner look. And then I went in with a makeup wipe and cleaned away all of the excess fallout from the shadows. And now using my Makeup Revolution Primer, I just applied that all over my face. And I'm using the Iconic London um, Highlighter Drops and I'm just applying this all over my face because I just feel like the foundation which I will use is quite lighter compared to my skin. So I want to bronze up some of my face as well. So I'm using the Iconic London uh, highlighter drops first and then I went in with my iconic London foundation stick and this just gave the perfect consistency and the perfect base for all of my makeup and just the per perfect foundation which I was looking for. And also I forgot to mention I applied my lashes off at camera as well and the lashes which I am wearing are the Elore Most Wanted Lashes in I Love This, one of my favourite kind of signature lashes. I absolutely love the Most Wanted Collection by Elore and um, they are very good and long lasting. And I'm just blending out all of my foundation and then I'm just going to apply the Fit Me Concealer on my under eye area. And then I do go over this with the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter as well just to really brighten up my under eyes. And then I'm just going to blend both of them out. And as you guys know, I just really like to have a really bright, bright under eye. And this just really helps to hide away those bags as well, especially when you're a new mom and you just really need to hide those away. So we're just using my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend all of that out. Another tip is if you feel like your beauty blender is getting dry and you feel like you can't really um, blend everything out, then I would always wet my beauty blender a little bit more. And then I'm just taking my NYX uh, contour palette and I'm just going to apply some of that yellow colour underneath my eyes. And what I love about this palette is every time an individual pan finishes, you can always replace the pans, which I absolutely love. And then I'm taking the darkest contour colour on this flat brush and I'm just going to start contouring just underneath my cheeks. And I absolutely love this colour. The only thing I would say because these are more powdered, less creamy, they can take quite a while to blend out. So I would definitely keep wetting my beauty blender and I would try and contour uh, one at a time as well. So focus on cheeks first and then the chin as well. So you can always do it that way as well. But obviously with the power of editing, I will have blended this out real quick. And then I'm just going to take the lightest bronze colour and I'm just going to start bronzing up wherever I contoured and I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks, just apply some under the chin and also some on my forehead as well. And then with the same yellow colour I am going to start sharpening up my contour. I absolutely love sharpening my contour. I really like it to have that very sleek, straight look. So I'm just going to apply this. If you guys don't like that to look too sharp, you can always skip this step. And then I'm just going to run everything over with my Beauty Blender, just so everything looks really nice and blended and it doesn't look too white. And then using the same shade which I used to contour my cheeks, I'm going to contour my nose. And then using my Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend all of that out. And I'm being very careful not to drag the bronze look really down because I do want my nose to have that really nice sharp look. So I'm just being careful and just pushing that in to the ridge of my nose only. And then I'm just going to spray my entire face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I go in and apply my highlighter. And I'm applying the Becca opal highlighter i haven't used this in such a long while and i forgot how amazing this was 
And then I'm just taking a blush and I'm taking this from my BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just going to apply this in the middle of my highlight and my contour. And then I am going to take some of that same dark blue colour from the Makeup Revolution palette. I'm just going to apply this in the bottom lash line just underneath on my bottom lashes. And then I'm just going to blend this out. And then I'm going to take uh, this turquoise colour from NYX. This is one of their big jumbo glitter pencils. And I'm just going to apply this in my lower waterline. And this will just really make my eyes pop out and really make um, all nice and blue and all nice and turquoise. And then I'm taking the Lip Liner Oak by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just going to align my lips with this. And then I'm going to take a MAC Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and I'm just going to apply that over the lip liner. I've forgotten what it's called but I will have it linked down below in the description box. But recently these two have been my absolute favourite lip combos and I absolutely love wearing this. And then I'm also going to apply some highlighter to my nose as well which I forgot. So just with my finger I'm going to apply some to the ridge of my nose and just to the tip and this is it guys this is the final look so I'm also going to apply some earrings and obviously and not forget my all-nighter spray just to make sure I lock in all of that makeup in preps for the rest of the night but this is it guys this is the final look so I really hope you guys enjoyed how I created this look and if so please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and give me all the support which you guys can. But this is it guys and hopefully I will see you all next time. Bye guys!